Previously, we looked at how to manage and work with sync groups in the sequence. Here are a few editorial functions that you might use daily when cutting your production together. The first function you may want to perform when working in a sequence is to create a cut or splice, also called an Add Edit or Blade tool in other software. Press Ctrl V and this will splice the segment that is aligned with the focus point on the positioner. Notice that only one track gets cut. Incidentally, cutting segments also works during playback. You can start playing the sequence and by pressing Ctrl V, you can start cutting like you would cut to the beat if you were cutting a music video. If you wish to splice all the tracks under the positioner, press Ctrl Shift V. If you wish to exclude any tracks from the multi-track splicing, simply lock the tracks with the padlock icon in the patch panel prior to splicing the segments. Extraction and lifting is another common editorial function that you might use. You can use the in and out markers to mark up a section for lifting or extraction. Or alternatively, you can hold shift and drag the positioner to create a selection. For more accurate selections, simply press and hold command and select the segments you wish to extract or lift. To extract a section from the sequence, press Shift Backspace. This extracts the section from the sequence and closes the gap. To lift a section from the sequence, press the Backspace key. This removes the section from the sequence and leaves a gap behind. Please bear in mind that when using extraction or lift shortcuts, they ignore the ripple settings for the sequence as well as the track sync lock options. However, you cannot extract or lift from a locked track. Finally, you can create a subclip from a sequence. You saw this earlier in one of the videos where I subclipped a source clip in the media library. To create a subclip from the sequence, simply mark up the area you wish to subclip and go to the top menu bar, choose Clip, and create subclip. This does not extract the section out of the sequence, but it does create a new clip in the media library, which is the section that was originally subclipped from the first sequence. You can now select this clip and edit it into another sequence. In the next video, we start exploring the trimming tools such as roll, slip, and slide.